name is Zach Ibrahim, and I'm a peace activist. In 1990, my father was arrested for the assassination of Rabbi Meir Kahana in New York City, and from his prison cell, he was eventually sentenced to life in prison for his involvement in the World Trade Center bombing in 1993. So I decided as an adult that I wanted to share my story publicly to show people how I had been raised, but more importantly, what experiences I had that brought me out of it. I think for a long time, foreign policy in many countries is that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And as we see over and over again, that once the first enemy is gone, well, then the next enemy rises up and frankly becomes an even more brutal version of the enemy that came before. So we have to change our mindset. It can no longer be about defeating or using our military to, um, to overcome you know, these obstacles. There has to be other solutions. And those solutions really involve looking inside at ourselves, at the way that we operate, and realizing that it's not enough just to try and destroy an organization. You have to destroy the reasons that people can be compelled to join those kinds of groups. Uh, in 2014, I gave a TED Talk in which I shared my life story publicly. Um, after that, Ted approached me about doing the first TED book in print, and that book would eventually become The Terrorist Sun, A Story of Choice. What I want to tell the audience is, you know, it's easy to look at headlines and think that the world is heading into a terrible direction, but the truth is, we're actually doing a lot better than it seems. There are people all over the world who are working every day to try to make the world a better place. And the way that I try to live my life is to consider that I want to leave this world a better place than it was when I got here. And I again have the privilege of working with people who motivate me every day and remind me that all over the world there are people who are trying to make that happen. 